So today we're going to talk about customer experience and what it means to be truly customer centric. So there's a lot of talk about it, but what is customer experience? I'm not 100% sure we've got a working definition. Forrester has the definition as uh, customer experience is the customer's perception of their interactions with an organization. Can we get more clinical? Um, others, uh, such as good old Wikipedia, which might be a little more collective, is talking, um, speaks more towards it's just the sum of the interactions, which actually isn't that off. I think that that's a very good way of thinking of it is the sum of the interactions that your customer has with your organization. And that's not just the um, guided ones or the deliberate ones that you make, but it's every single time they interact with your brand or your company. So what does it mean to be customer centric? So customer centric, if you get literal, is just about putting the customer at the center of all of your processes and your interactions um, externally. Internally, obviously we know that there's infrastructure and lots of things. However, that doesn't mean you can't have a passion for the customer. It also doesn't mean you can't be thinking customer first. However, um, easy to say, very difficult to execute, as um, that means everything from how you position your external messages are um, leading with the customer. So it could either be their challenges, um, the things they care most about, um, or it could even just simply be the words they use. But it is framing everything so that it's about the customer understanding and it uh, more about um, the customer driving everything. Um, if you think of um, internal organizations, so inside out, that's when you lead with this is what my, my company does. These are the things that it can provide. Um, very much talking at. It doesn't necessarily, right, right now in this example, it sounds like it. It's a little, um, a little more subtle than that, but it is definitely leading with your product instead of leading with what the customer cares about or what they need to know. It's more of leading about what you want to tell someone about something. Um, and so it's allowing your customer to guide and drive uh, what it is your messaging is, what it is your value propositions are, and all of those things. And if you have internal um, infrastructures, like you're a sales organization, and so you've got to figure out things that align with your comp plan, um, the customer doesn't know about that, or it syncs up on the, the inside so that the customer doesn't see that part of the, the messy details. It's all about what makes sense to them so they can think about how they want to work with you, not what the heck you're talking about or what you mean. So if we're supposed to put the customer's challenges in our messaging, how do we find out what their challenges are? Uh, the most simple way is to talk to them. Um, <laughs> uh, you know, customers are more than willing to share that information. Um, if you have the luxury of being able to talk to uh, your customers, find out. Um, and it doesn't have to be a survey. It doesn't have to be those things. It can be informal interviews. Um, you know, we talk a lot about data and everyone loves the numbers. And trust me, numbers are great. They're uh, objective. They're, you know, unbiased. You can make them biased. But in general, numbers are what they are. They don't have emotion assigned to them. Um, there's a lot of emotion that comes reaction to them, but not to them. But that doesn't mean that you have to have a formal scientific method structure. If you don't have the budget or if you don't have all those things, but you just need direction, then it's perfectly fine to have conversations. You know, just as a, a content strategist, as a stakeholder interview, well, your customers are your stakeholders. Stakeholder interview them. Um, and if you don't have that, then get as close as you can to the customer. Is it your salesperson? Is it your customer service rep? Um, is it... The, the technician who um, does their installation or helps them with their product when they first get it. Those are all of the ways that you can start to get at that. And if you have to even go a further remove, find out where they are. If they're in a chat room, if there are organizations um, that they have from a professional standpoint, get in there and just listen. That will help you understand how they talk about things, what they talk about, and also uh, what they're looking for. Reddit's also a great place for intelligence gathering where you can actually see people talking about certain topics, understand the language they're using, and really use that intelligence to start to inform your marketing message. I would even say Facebook communities. They're great. Sure. Or um, Twitter. Mm -hmm. Twitter also is a place where if there are people or organizations um, from a... Um, 
and I'm not saying follow this company, it's more, or, or stalk this person, it's more of if um, particular organizations have their own Twitter handle and they're starting to talk about those things, you can start to suss it out in different places. And LinkedIn groups are another place to, to get into. Facebook groups are great though, because people are really honest um, in Facebook land because they're not thinking professionally, they're thinking real.